Welcome to my world. Alright guys, so I'm starting my vlog a little different today. I'm actually already on the freeway. I'm gonna go check out some cars and stuff like that, see what cars, like, just so I can get an idea. Maybe I'll get a car today, maybe I won't. But for the most part, at least I'm gonna go check out some cars because that's it, I wanna step, I, I need to have a car. I'm tired of, like, not having a car. I'm hoping to bring my car from my mom's house over to my house today. I have a lot of things that I'm hoping to do. Now, let's see if I'll get them done. So, um... Right now, anyways, guys, I'm on my way to, to a dealership where I know the owner and stuff of the dealership. And I'm going to check out what they have, you know. Uh, like, I have an idea of what car I want, but let's see what happens. But anyways, well, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful, I mean, Miami sometimes has its days that you're like, wow. You know? And then it has its days like when we went sailing that it's just pouring, sun, pouring, sun, pouring. It's ridiculous. Anyways, um... I'll see you guys a little short. I'll see you guys uh, shortly. Let me pay this toll here. You know the your your regular ripoff, like uh, in every freaking uh, like like every two miles they have one of these things set up. It's ridiculous. They make a shitload of profit. God, they keep taxing us and taxing us. Ugh. Guys, it's time for a little lunch break. I am starving, so I'm here. Oh my God! Wow, take some time. Burger King. Burger King. Burger King. Burger King. Yeah, let me get a number one plane with cheese and an extra bottle of water. Number one plane with cheese to drink. Coke and an extra bottle of water. Okay. That'll be all. Plane, right? Yeah. Thank you. Oops. I didn't notice I was recording. Uh, I made a little pit stop here at my grandmother's house because uh, I want to eat. I want to eat a peaceful dinner. I'm, dinner, lunch. What is wrong with me today? I'm so out of it, but I'm motivated, guys. I really do feel a lot more motivated. Guys, I'm going to tell you a little secret because you guys are my, like, damn it, this little beeping sound is annoying. You guys have been with me for such a long time. Like, a lot of you have been with me since day one. A lot of you have been with me since day 100. Some of you are new. But, man, yesterday I had, guys, I mean, I, I'm only telling you this because you guys always watch me and you guys support me and you're the reason I keep going. But had a horrible night. I mean, last night I kept thinking to myself, I had lost like motivation. I felt like I lost motivation. I can't explain it, but I'm a very motivated guy. So like when I, whenever I do things, I'm fully motivated. My body feels. I don't know if you guys noticed it on yesterday's vlog, but I was lacking motivation and it was bothering me. And then I, it's, it started getting psychological with me. Like it started affecting me. It started making me think, damn. Why am I not motivated? And then it was bothering me the whole night. I couldn't even sleep, you know, because I had lost, like, I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys, but I lost, like, I don't know. I lost, like, the will to keep doing things, and that's not good because I forget exactly how Albert Einstein said it, but Albert Einstein once said that a person without a goal or a person without, like, a dream of something they want to accomplish has, like, is point like he, he explains it in a way where he says like basically it's not a person at all it's like a lost cause basically so like i always live by those words but let me tell you yesterday was bad for me i mean i don't know if it was depression i don't know what the hell it was if i had like a state of depression for a couple hours or stuff but i had a really hard time going to sleep and i woke up this morning and i feel great you know sometimes i guess you just have a bad day i just consider it a bad day I need to have my own car. Emma always manages to find a way to trick me and leaves me on an empty tank of gas and then I have to pour the gas for her. And I hate pouring gas every single time I take the car. Even though I'm gonna have to pour gas on my own car. But it's not the same thing because I'm not gonna leave it empty for a day that I need to drive around a lot. So she got me. Good job, babe, you got me. All right, guys, I'm at the first little dealer, these little dealers that they have here in Miami. And so far they don't have too much of a selection of cars. Like I was expecting, like, much more of a selection, but what they got here is like old Lexuses, that old Explorer that guy was trying to get me into. But uh, I really don't see anything impressive besides this Lexus, but I don't want a sedan, I want a, I want an actual car, so. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna go to another dealer, wait till Saturday to go with my aunt to a dealer that she knows. Guys, okay, so I hit up another dealer, and it's not too promising either. They got a lot of Mercedes, but they have the old models and stuff. 
Not exactly quite what I'm looking for. Hopefully I find something. I mean, the search has to end eventually. I have to find a car to drive. But they don't have anything that I'm looking for so far. Alright guys, so I'm on my way back. Um, very unsuccessful. I don't think I'm going to go with a small dealership. I think I'm going to have to go to like Cadillac or to like BMW or something because um, it's not working out. Like these little dealers, their cars look like crap. It looks like you're going to, like, like I'm going to buy a car and then I'm going to be stuck with a car that has like problems. I mean, I guess the economy, you know, the economy is doing pretty bad and stuff like that and you should minimize your expenses and stuff, but I'm not going to get myself into a debt that later is going to not benefit me at all. And ever since Emma broke this window, I gotta look back and stuff. This is so dangerous on the expressway. To be vlogging, doing this, my God, you guys are gonna cause me to get into an accident just to try to vlog for you guys. All right, guys, so uh, I'm gonna let you go so I can change lanes. All right, guys, so I have arrived at my mom's house. I'm waiting for a towing, uh, for a tow guy to come because they're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tow my, my Corvette to my house so I can have it over there at the house. God, this is the only thing I miss about living because that's my old house right there. I have it rented out right now, but this is the only thing I have uh, I, I miss about this this house, which is this beautiful view. This is like a nice view to wake up in the morning and see a lake. That's nice. Very nice. But anyways, just waiting. Hopefully the tow guy gets here quick so I can get home and eat dinner because I am starving. All right, guys. So my baby's finally going to its rightful home. Got to load it up on the on the truck. It's there's already uh, the tow guy's already there. Finally, an hour later, but. Oh shit. And there's the tow guy right there. So let's get this show on the road. Alright guys, so this is a first for me. I'm actually on top of the tow truck in the car. This is this is definitely a first for me. And there's my stepdad back there. It's a much higher view than what I expected. That's my baby right there. Well, besides Emma, Benny, and the dogs. All right, guys, so this is a very happy moment for me right now. The Corvette, I don't know if you guys can see it too well. It's back home. It's back where it belongs. It's back in Sukasa. So now I gotta connect, um, there's a wire here. I gotta connect the, the battery charger inside the engine or whatever, just so I can give it like, sorry guys. So I can give it enough amps so that way that the car is always charging so when I don't turn it on the battery doesn't die out it used to happen to me all the time with every single car so now I have to find a flashlight to be able to see the the, the actual engine of the car I don't want to get fried or anything or touch the wrong wire so let me see how I'm gonna find a flashlight in this giant mess yeah I don't know if you guys can see this too well but that is ridiculous I used the the cover of my old car oh, you can't really see it see if I get closer to the light <laughs> Right there it says Maserati on it, which is pretty ridiculous. Doesn't even fit the car right, but it'll do for now. All right, guys, I'm off to bed. I can't, I, I'm too tired. I'm going to sleep. Thank you guys for watching. Good night, peace. I don't like the way, I'm sorry. That was very rude. All right, guys, I'm going to sleep. Thank you guys for watching. Good night, peace. It's Chase Haver, the Miami vlogger.